Hi guys, Tyler here with Explore Scientific, a CSR rep here. Today we're going to talk about the FL AR-102-1000. With this particular telescope at 102 millimeters and 7 inch aperture and an astonishing 1000 millimeters of focal length, this wonderful telescope is great for some deep sky objects, planetary and lunar observations. Now what you receive with this telescope is a handy dandy instruction notebook or a pictogram on how to put the telescope together. We don't need that because I'm going to show you how to do it right here. We got our tripod here and another box here that's got our head mount, slow motion control knobs, our eyepieces, extension tubes, diagonal. So here we go. Right now we're going to cut open the actual tripod box. And please be careful not to cut yourself. Explore Scientific is not liable for you cutting yourself. Please be careful. Now with this box, it was just a tripod and it's gonna have two foam pieces in it as well. So we're gonna go ahead and take them out and we're gonna get rid of the box. All our tripods come with a wonderful protective coating. Now, with this wonderful tripod, it's two inch legs, Oops two inch legs, and they have two levers on each individual leg. So we're gonna go ahead and extend this all the way for your viewing pleasures. Now with the tripod all set up, we're gonna go over what's in this next box so you know what to expect and to get with this FLAR-102. And some, some accessories, extension tubes, which we'll go over those here in a little bit, accessory tray, slow motion control knobs, your diagonal, T-bar, and your wonderful head mount. So, first and foremost, we're gonna get our T-bar out. Mm, mercy. T-bar's out, I'm gonna get her head mount out. Once I find the spot to Mm, there it is, and there it is. Now it does come with tension collars. Please don't lose these, these are very, very important pieces of your mount. We'll have an Allen as well. And here's the handy dandy mount for Alt and As. that in that box. Accessory tray <coughs> to keep all your wonderful accessories off the ground and close for your night observing. Now it will come standard with a two inch hole and an inch, two inch and a quarter holes as well. Let's get going here and put this tripod together. So I got my accessory tray, T-bar handle. I'm gonna go ahead and just feed it through here. We'll feed it through this observing hole here as well. And you also will get a washer, very small, please don't lose it. And that will go set here and a little E-clip. That keeps just the T-bar in place so it doesn't go anywhere. Please don't lose that. But in case you do, if none of these parts are in with the included telescope that you bought, please don't hesitate to call us at 866-252-3811 and ask for me or any other CSR rep here and we'll get you taken care of. Let's get back to assembling. So now, I always point the little T-mount or little thing here, I'm not sure the technical term for it, um, I always point this due north. It helps me to better use the telescope mount and telescope actual alt as mount. So I always point it north just to get in that actual habit. And this particular mount itself has a groove for the T shape. So there's only one orientation to put it. So we're gonna go ahead and just do that right now. And there we go. And we're gonna go ahead and start. There we go. And we're gonna make sure that we align our tray with the legs so we don't mess anything up as well. So this, this is almost a two person job, almost. But the skilled observer can get it done easily. 
But if you need help, don't hesitate to ask. It doesn't hurt to ask. All right. So now we got a good secure on that, but hey, my tray's still loose. Why is it still loose? Well, you have this wonderful little washer here that you can extend it all the way up to keep putting outward pressure towards the legs to give you a more stable mount. Good deal. Now we got a stable tripod. Now we got our tripod and head mount assembled. Let's go ahead and keep going. We got our slow motion control knobs. Now I've orientated this and it doesn't matter which way or how you want the short one at the bottom, the long one at the bottom, it doesn't matter. There's no incorrect way of doing it. I'm just gonna do it what's best for, the, for you guys right now. And there's only one way to put them on. There is a flat spot on these particular little brass gears here. And that's the only orientation that it can fit. And if you can see that little dimple there and a little flat spot, that's where this little screw will fit on said dimple. So you can get perfect actual contact so you can move the, the actual mount left, right, and up or down. So now, remember I talked about these little clutch knobs that you can't lose, and if you do lose, please call us and we'll get you taken care of. These are actually clutches for the alt ass And they just simply thread one up top here and one right down here as well. Now all they're for is just for locking down and messing with the tightness on the alt as. So the tighter they get, the harder it is to move. So right now, what we're gonna do is go ahead and put the telescope on. Right now we're gonna talk about how to attach these extension tubes. Now please watch closely, this is magic. So we're gonna draw out the extension tube just a little bit. We're gonna release our inch and a quarter adapter that goes into our diagonal. Ooh ah, magic. Now, this compression ring unscrews. And be careful, because it will fly off there and it will hurt you. Just kidding. So we all, I always put on the two inch thick one for visual. It'll go on just like this. Come on, baby. long-winded one and we'll put our compression ring back on and now take off our eye cap I'm going to tighten down the inch and quarter adapter so we don't lose it I'm going to throw in our diagonal there it goes guess what folks we're heavy again so I got to tighten down my clutch again so I'm going to bring back the focus we're still heavy so I'm gonna tighten you down a little more. Perfect. So now we are ready for some visual observations. And with this wonderful telescope, we also include a smartphone adapter to get you started in your astrophotography needs with this telescope. Also, a wonderful super colossal eyepiece and an astonishing 25 millimeters as well. But it's again, it's also recommended to purchase or pick up more multiple eyepieces from here at Explorer Scientific. I always recommend the 52 degree series because they're great and they'll get you started in whatever you're wanting to look at. Again, my name is Tyler with Explorer Scientific and here's looking at you. Hope you have clear skies, keep looking up.